not looking forward to the death thing, the last rule of the game. By the way, you have no rings. Get good. Yep. And here's your boss. The first iteration of Metal Sonic. Oh, God, that sounds ugly in this version. Jesus. It does. Jeez, that's like really loud. Yeah. This boss I feel like I need to spend some time to strategize because this boss sucking blows. Yeah. Just keep hitting it in the face. Do not hit its back because there's razors in the back. Its razor quills are awful. Alright. His attack power is simple though. He does this, then it goes back again. Next time he rolls up, do not jump. Get towards the center. That's why. Do not jump into the center. Now he's gonna roll on the ground again. Roll on the ground. And then he does the same thing. And then he does the charging. Yep, you pretty much seen all his attacks now. Kevil! Oh wait. Oh fuck you! Changing up the attack pattern? Don't screw yourself! Oh! Oh right! I forgot, when he's low in health, he does that. I always forget about that. Oh my god. I always forget about that! God damn it! <laughs> oh. Help! Help! And that's why spin attack made me roll. Ah! Alright, let's just do level select since we're right at the fucking end. Yeah. Alright, well, something to show you the main menu anyway. Go down to sound test. Options. Now, go to sound test, do 19. Go to sound 19 and play it. However the hell you have to play it, I forget. Probably jump button. Now go to 65. Play each one once, by the way. 65, you mean? Yes. Yes, 65. I remember this code pretty well because it's actually an Easter egg to the birthday of somebody. 65. Then go back to 09. So 09, 76? 09 and then 17. Oh, 09 and 17. Yeah. Make sure you play each sound effect once. Alright, you did that. And now you can leave, I guess. But I start or select or something. Yep. I think you have to hold... I think you have to hold X and then press start on the uh, screen here. Just hold, like, all the buttons and then hit start. <laughs> Fuck! We're going to game time. We're kind of not in this part. Fuck! Alright. Alright. We're at the end of the stage. We'll show the ending for what happens when you, uh, get all the, uh, emeralds if you want. It's not too much different. It's not much different. But, yep. Now I just practice fighting this thing. Well, now the pressure's off! So now we just fight. Go hardcore. That charge can be a bit of a nuisance, though. Yeah. This boss can throw you a little bit of a loop. The only thing... It's not that difficult. It's the small hitbox that makes this boss difficult. So you try to attack in the back, you're fucked. You have to hit him in the face. Now sometimes you hit him, you go through him for some reason. Alright, he's gonna do the jumping thing. Oh! It didn't let me jump! Mark! I'm trying to do like the two phase thing, it's just... Yeah, two every single time, yeah. At least you're not for you like me, who always tries to go great. Then again, you can do it! Oh! Then again. I've done this stage much more than you have, because, well... I've had a habit with the... Okay, I just roll on the ground like three times in a row or something. Or twice in a row, maybe the air spike thing. Yes! Now, time for me to die. Actually, I just realized fucking something. What? Since this is the May Collection, we can't just show, we could show something off. But who cares? Yeah, by the way, Eggman can run as fast as you can here for some reason. Should I save here? Just so we can save some time. It doesn't matter. Because the problem is, it's not going to be a... Here we go! The most overused boss in Sonic history. Yeah. EA Robo. Oh. I hate my life. And in this game, this boss is no joke. It's not too hard, but again, you have no rings. So get good. Oh, nice. Hit him in the back. Oh. The engine fucking hurts. 
Oh no, he dropped the to So that's what he does if you're behind him. See the little doll at the top? Yeah. He dropped that on you. So if you're behind him, that's what he does. So don't ever be behind him. I've no. never tried to do that before, so I didn't actually know that. I usually just try to hit him with the front. Do I do it again? If you want, I mean, you are pretty much right there. Square. Oh no, you, you, the level select thing's already unlocked, so you don't have to... It's a demo for a multiplayer. Oh. <laughs> I'd rather that too. The cheats aren't unlocked, so all I have to do is hold whatever button and then press start for how you access it last time. So the death egg. Yes. Good luck! Thank goodness these old games had level select, or I would have never been able to get through a game like this. The furthest I've been able to get through this game legitimately was, uh... Damn it! The furthest I was able to get through this game legitimately was, uh... Metropolis Zone. I mean, I made Maybe all the I way... died there. Legitimately. I made it all the way to Wing Fortress. <coughs> no, you made it to here legitimately. Oh, yeah. You used to continue in Wing Fortress, but you made it... Did you got here for your last set of lives. Which, at this point, you may as well use level select, because this is the ending right here. Having to go through all that shit again to come back to this hellhole is just mean. I imagine this is going to be painful. Yeah. This is probably the hardest final stage of the Sonic trilogy. Yeah. Because... Back-to-back boss fights. Yeah. And they all have fucking... Even um, Sonic 3 isn't that cool. Yeah. Sonic 3 has a very tiring final boss, but... It's exhausting, but it's epic. Yeah. And it's not as hard in my personal opinion. Ah, the charge! He's got to remember the pattern. I know the pattern, but I'm trying to get multiple hits in because yeah. I know when I get him low, he's going to yeah. fucking blow me up. If you, hit him, if you hit him from below, it kind of pushes you back and makes it a little harder to jump, so you freaking have yourself at a bad angle. Hey, stop it! Alright, he's going to jump over you. See you get the last two here. Nice! For a moment, I thought you got hit, but you didn't. Spin dash at Eggman and watch him go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! How do you pick up speed like that? I know. It's freaking ridiculous. I'm scared. I hate this boss. Yeah, the fact, the thing that makes this boss hard, though, despite his easy pattern, he's hard to hit without getting killed because of those goddamn hands. Yeah, that's what I hate about that boss. There's one good time to hit him. When which he is smashes annoying. you. Yep. No, it's me. No, I say it's easier to hit him when uh, he's in the air and he lands and he's facing you. He kind of kneels down after he lands. Oh! It's... Yeah. This is, this is infuriating. Even more so than the final zone in Sonic 1. Because that was just crushers and a laser. Yeah. Well, but that one was easy to dodge. This is a lot more. This is more... The boss have simple patterns, but the pressure of having to do it without getting hit... Like, this definitely... one's very demanding. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah. to be fair, I like, but god damn. It does make for an epic end to this game, though. That's for sure. As much as I hate the fact you can't have rings without cheating and using debug mode, it does leave an amazing final challenge for you. Ooh, nice. Nice! Just need one more! Jump. Oh, uh, by the way, I may as well say this now in case you don't know. The final boss, Egg Robo, doesn't take eight hits to kill. It takes more. Yeah, it takes like 12, I think. Yeah. It's a fucking dick. I can't even jump on his head. Yeah. No. Don't even bother trying to hit him right now. Because arms. That shit happen. His arms his... are the worst part. Because they will frequently hit you when you don't expect it. I'm so tempted to want to take a debug mode. And just give yourself, like, one ring. Just one ring. I know, dude. It's... It's hard. Oh, That's what razors. happens, by the way. That's what happens, by the way, when you deal with the goddamn... Oh. Hey, don't... You could probably pull this off, give it enough time. I had to help Kota get through this, because... It definitely tests your patience. More than anything else in a Sonic game. Yeah. It's... So much precision. I know. I, I can't blame people for getting mad at this section, because it's hard as fuck! Yeah. It's the hardest Metal Sonic fight, too! His pattern's simple, but god damn it! 
That razor thing on his back makes it so he has such a small hitbox. Oh, God, this freaking asshole. If worse comes to worse, I'll just make a freaking checkpoint at, uh, what is it? After Metal Sonic? Yeah. Because the thing is, doing both at the same time, it's like... Yeah. It's a lot easier to take care of Metal Sonic, because he takes a normal eight hits, and, well, you'll certainly figure out his pattern before you figure out the egg robots. Woo, nice save! Uh, Nice! See, you can figure it out and get, like, three hits every time you stand still. You can pretty like, much have them every time. Like, I, feel like I, I feel like I should be doing this legitimately, because that way it'll help me at least, you know. Exactly, yeah. Okay. I say you don't even try to hit Don't him even right try, now. right? Yeah, don't even try. Just let him walk at you and just walk Just let him walk at you slowly with that giant. I know. I mean, here's the thing. The only thing he does is, you know... Got a jet and smash you. Yep. Which, right. to be fair... You want to hit him when he does that. Now run away! You want to hit him quickly and then back off. Because he'll throw his arms at you. Yeah. You guys probably can't hear it very well, but my feet are fucking twitching. I'm anxious to this shit. I... Mm -hmm. It's a lot of pressure. Let me... I can't even- I don't think I can even count how many times it took me to finally beat this boss the first time. That was Damn bad. Because <laughs> I had a habit when I first got Sonic Mega Clutch, and I looked up level select cheats till I get to the end of the game and try to beat the major boss, the final boss, so I could be able to accomplish. Only Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I didn't need to do that. This game I did, and I spent on this game for probably close to about a half hour. I died a lot. I died a lot to this. A lot. And still occasionally die Metal Sonic, because fucking... Huh. Oh, his fucking charges can throw you off rhythm. Alright. <laughs> need a little bit of time to breathe? I might need a bottle of water. Yes. If you want to go get bottles of water, you can do that. I'm just scared because... How many times have I fucking died to this thing? Like, dude, this, this is the hardest thing in the whole Sonic trilogy. I'll say that right now. As hard to the bullshit that Sonic the Hedgehog won't give you this stuff... This boss rush segment right here is, hell. is the hardest. This is like the hardest. Apparently, this isn't the hardest thing in any Sonic game, though. Apparently, Sonic Hedgehog Triple Trouble or Game Gear had worse. There was a boss Eggman you had to fight in a room that was surrounded by spikes. With no rings, I'm guessing? I think you had rings, but still. You were in a room surrounded by spikes, you had to hit Eggman, who was in a really precarious spot. Jump over here. Apparently, yeah, that was the final boss, Triple Trouble. Apparently, that's known as the hardest Sonic, the hardest boss fight in Sonic history. Which I, I feel like I, I feel like I'm obligated to try and at least for myself do this without having to fucking debug. Yeah, yeah, debug. Or I mean, you know, I eventually learned to do it. I I made it so I did do it without debug. Cause, well, you feel that much. It's just like the Rayman Two thing. When you do it perfectly, you feel that much more powerful. I know there's like a sweet spot for when you can actually hurt him when he does the slam. Yeah. Like right there. Now stand away, get away! Uh. Uh. You can also hit him before he flies up because his arms aren't sticking beyond his stomach. It's a little risky. Oh though. no, this is bad. You're good, you're good. I don't think he'll hit you if you stand on the edge. I think he'll be fine. I think he'll be okay. Yeah, you're good. So you could probably hit him here if you wanted. Is it safe? Probably. If you, if you hit him high, it'll be fine. But it's like, I need the momentum. Yeah. You wanna stay away? You can't reach me! Yeah, you may as well just take your time with it. Yeah. Because this is the rest of the stage, is this boss fight, so... WHAT?! And that's another fluky thing that happens. Him too early, you may go through him. That's something I hate, personally, about fighting him. That's if, annoying. If you hit him in the face, he'll bounce back. At least when he does that. See, it... Even this boss fight's wonky as shit. It's fucking not fair! No, it's not hard at all. I know. The fact that you can go through him sometimes is like, why the fuck do I even bother hitting him then? What the fuck? He's like, he I just mean, died for no reason. If that's all he does, though, it shouldn't be so yeah, inherently but bad. but his pattern is very simple. It's just having to be very patient to time your hits properly. And I'm usually... 
if you want to try to time it so you can get a hit before he launches himself, that might help you. If you feel like doing it. You just gotta hit him high. And you won't go through him if you do it. See? Okay. It's not too dangerous. So yeah, you want to hit him a little bit after he comes down. There you go. If you hit him right around the chest when he's falling down, you go through him sometimes. But... Oh, a little too <laughs> A little too easy. Yeah, I think I'm actually starting to understand this, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just a, a bit simple. more. Mm -hmm. This whole stage is simple. It's really just trial and error on this one. So, Which my know, people that try to do legit... And honestly, I'm kind of glad I don't have all the Chaos Emeralds here. It's because I kind of do like the ending a bit more with... Yeah. Look, I mean, I just proved that I've done it. It's not much different. It's really just he comes down as supersonic. That's really the only difference. Yeah. Like, there's really not a difference in the ending. Now, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, you're going to want to have all the Chaos Emeralds by the end. But oh, again, yeah. there are save files in that one. So. And also, that game makes it worth a little bit more. Yes. Careful. Jump a little under. <laughs> okay. I usually kill him before he gets to the fourth attack. That's why I always forget the second set of three. Yeah. How Maybe. can you run faster than the fast thing alive? Because I am the fast thing alive. <laughs> now imagine if it was Amy. She fucking <laughs> runs her over. She gets fucking runs him over. Because, like, she's so oh, really? fucking... Like, she's at, like... I made the joke already, but it's like... She's crazy. She's freaking insane, like... She's not quite as fast as Sonic, but... But here's she's... the thing, she's like... Goddamn near as fast as her... Careful! There you, there you go. go. Get away, get away! You can't hit me! Loser. Oof! Tight Come on! But you got it. Okay. There you go. And you've pretty much seen the whole pattern of this fight. Just keep rinsing and repeating, and you've got this. That's all you gotta do. Just beware the hands. As long as you can dodge the hands, you're good. It's like, once I get my hands on you, your history, Pingus! It really is. Okay. <laughs> Especially the Pingus part. Yeah. Depending on how quickly you go, you might just not want to hit him that part at all. Oh, God. This I think this, little... this is bad. God damn it. I never know about that, because I always forget that he could do that. That's kind of annoying, though, how he doesn't face you when he lands on you. Well, I think he faces whatever side of the screen there's more level to. Because you're going to the right pretty- you're going to the left pretty early. That's why I try to try to stay on the very right until I know he's coming down. Because it's pretty easy to tell when he's coming down. You see the crosshairs, like, change a little bit. And then they'll sit in one spot. I like, seem to stay towards the very right. I will say this much, I had kind of... Eh. It seems to definitely been going a little bit better. Yeah. Once you figure it out, it's definitely easy. It takes a lot of practice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I that, don't, like here's the thing. Like, I don't play this game very much, as y'all can probably tell, so you can't laugh at me all you want, but go on ahead. Oh, don't worry, I did worse. I'd use level select from Casino Night, and I had to do it again at Metropolis, and then multiple times at Wing Fortress! God! Trust me, you definitely did better Wait, than- Wait! No! You, oh. you definitely did better than me. And if people were laughing at you and not me, they're fucking wrong. <laughs> yeah, stay towards the right, and then wait for that to happen. Yeah! I missed. I just, you just learn what's worth it. You gotta set yourself up in a good position to attack. You gotta be quick on your feet! You gotta go fast! Exactly. It's more reflexes and actual speed you need to be quick on. Bitch! Looks like somebody needs to- Oh! You hit the hand! Oh! Damn! That's the thing that makes that hit hard. Like I should- I should probably even go for like maybe that Maybe not hit. on that one, Maybe no. not like when he- cause like I already hit like, it. After he does the walking, it's pretty safe. If you do it after he does the fists, how fast you go can really determine where you hit him. Yep. So, you gotta be a lot more careful with that move. There you go, you pretty much figured out Metal Sonic. Well, I will say this much, I am... Yeah, like I said. I made it all the way to here without getting a game over, so that must yeah. mean something. Yeah. Even though I did borrow you for the... 
Chaos Emerald, but that's a different. Hey, hey, that Super Sonic only helped with like a couple things. Yeah. So. I mean, what we only had since like what, Mr. Cave? Yeah. Yes, it's Mr. Cave. I didn't even get Super Sonic my first time playing the whole game. I had uh, I had five Chaos Emeralds by the time I got to the end. I just level select the special stage to get the, my Chaos Emeralds. Fuck you. Which, I'm kind of glad I didn't do it, but it could have been a nice like broken bonus for you if you had Super Sonic and you just power up the Super Sonic once you got to the Egg Robo and then just wreck his shit. Oh, a little late. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's. I will do this. It's either. It's either you gotta hit him quickly when he's doing that, or you gotta wait a really long time for good chances to hit him. It's a brutal fight. There are a lot of ways to beat him, but there are just as many ways for you to die. Yeah. He's got a big fucking hitbox. Mm -hmm. Yep. As long as you don't go for his arms. Or his legs. He doesn't need legs, but he has them to crush you with. Yeah. That's the only reason why they exist. <laughs> Although they still hurt, serve as a hitbox for one reason and one reason only. To smash your skull. Yeah, at least he didn't decide to make his robots immune to hedgehog quills. Ah, oh, fuck. Huh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I was trying to- I can't jump on him at all. I was, that was horrible. Yeah, sometimes the rhythm just gets off. I know. That was horrible, yeah. You memorize the pattern. If you're jumping, it's just a bit off. It's like, ah, uh, oh, fuck, fuck. I gotta make up for it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. My rhythm. Mm-hmm. That's the stage in a nutshell. <sighs> but I did look, apparently, uh, during the uh, summer Amazing Games Done Quick during the summer speedrun thing or whatever, apparently somebody got through this whole game in 23 minutes. I can believe that. Like, damn. Then again, I think I remember when I was, uh, when, uh, the channel Game Grumps used to have, like, Ross and all that, he had, uh, Gerard the Completionist do a, um, uh, yeah. a speedrun playthrough of, um, uh, Sonic 2. He did it in, like, a little under a half hour. In case he's gonna jump over. So, yeah. Some more hits. If you really don't know what you're doing in this game, don't care about Chaos Emeralds, you can... If you really know what you're doing in this game, you can get through in a half hour. I think there's glitches that come part of that as well, though. Like, I think there's like a way to blast yourself through a wall. I only know that glitch from Sonic 3, but I think it works in all the Sonic games. Yeah, yeah, I know it works in Sonic 1. Because I've done it in Sonic 1 before. Ah! Because there's a speedrun glitch where basically you can if you can plant yourself in a wall, and then you push to the left, You'll fly out really fast to the right. It's a famous speedrun glitch in Sonic games if you're able to glitch yourself into walls. Ha! Nice. Yeah, I wouldn't attack when I would never do that, but if you know how to frame hit yeah. that, then by all means, yeah. a free hit for you. Yeah, I do not attack him when his hands are forward. A pit on your nuts. <laughs> God damn. Alright. Be careful. Smash. Oof. That like, was right at the end of good time. Like, that is just Don't have uncomfortable, man. Yeah, I know. Stupid bitch. Here I am! Pingus! No, not the Pingus! Get up! Get down with the Pingus! Get up! Get that, down with the Pingus! That's my thing! That's my thing! Marr! Bring it! I'll bring you Pingus all the way! Don't know if I feel about that. Run! Whoop. Bitch, you think you can harm me with that simple shit? Get out of here with that weakness! God damn it. Because I am the penis. That's what you think, huh? Let's see how much you like this shit. God damn it. It's too perfect. Here I come! Oof. Alright, you're getting there. I haven't keep track of how many hits, but you're definitely getting there. See? It's very simple once you've got it down and know when to move. Nice. You're getting close. Come on, you giant egg fuck! Die! Oh, God. Gotta be close. Look out! No way! I can't believe this! 
And there we go! Just like Get that. Get a load of this! Yes! And just like that, you've won! And now tiny pictures! That's a death egg blowing up! Oh, Sonic's dead! It's a supernova! I wonder what happened to Sonic. He's probably dead, you know. I want to find out. I'll return the body to the grave. Be sure to let me feast on his organs! If there are any left. Yeah, after I'm done with them. I knew there was a reason you hung out with him the whole time. <laughs> he was gonna die eventually, and I'm gonna eat all of his organs. <laughs> I've been waiting for this my whole life. Sustenance! No! Oh! Help me ah! up here! Help me. Ah! Oh, Tails, thankfully, you finally came through. Yeah. Yep, the only difference with Supersonic getting is that Supersonic and you have, like, eagles yeah. along him instead. America! Yeah. But I like this one just a bit more. Yeah. This Tails is actually useful for something. Yes. Yeah, it's not like they even land on a plane with Supersonic. Yeah, he just fucking flies down. Yes! Yes! And there we go, that's the end of Sonic 2. The beginning of greatness for the Hedgehog. Yeah. And despite all the chaos I went through, oh, you I definitely do see the improvement, and to be fair, I was expecting a lot worse. Yeah. I thought I was going to go through hell and back. The game has a difficulty spike really at the end. The first seven worlds are easy, then you hit Metropolis Zone, and you know you're in for it then. Yeah. That's when hopefully all the lives and continues you saved up means something. Or, you know, your or skill. You, yes. Which... Or your skill of dodging all the slicers and shell crackers and the Asperons. And you're going through Wind Fortress and praying that God your platforming skills are godlike. Yep. Which, okay, they weren't godlike for me, but Supersonic can shortcut you through the stage, but otherwise you got one hell of a dangerous well, platform trip to go through. To be fair, I still like it. I mean, it's at least a fair challenge rather than fucking Metropolis Zone, which is basically just a trio of hell. Yeah. And then the boss there is a dick, too. Definitely the, harder, definitely the hardest level, but... Yeah. Still, it was fun. And, well, gotta say, it's definitely appreciative of that. <laughs> I like this game. Oh, yeah. I thought, like I said, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse, and, well, It's definitely a brush of breath air, a breath of fresh air compared to Sonic 1. Yeah. Especially if you actually have the Speed Dash! <laughs> yeah. And the Chaos Emerald Collection gimmick is better. Yeah. A little bit better. Yes. Not as good as 3, but we'll get to that yes. soon. Yeah. You can tell it was good at 3 because Mania carried it over. Yeah. That's how you know. I mean, hell, one of the bonus stages was freaking Blue Sphere. They love me. They love 3 and Knuckles, apparently. Oh, yeah. Well, understandable. It's known as... A lot of people do treat 3 and Knuckles as the ideal Sonic game, which is what we're going to be getting into next, and oh boy, I can't wait. I think I understand also why the people don't like 3 and Knuckles as well. We'll get to that when we get Some to people might find it too easy, I'm guessing. No, it's something else. Inherently with how the game was played out. I don't understand what I mean when we get there. Okay. But yeah, but... I gotta say, a lot of the stages are definitely a lot brighter. The stages definitely feel a lot better when it comes to, like, building speed and speeding through them. Oh, if yeah. If I say that, when I, most of my time was spent slowing to a freaking crawl, getting freaking chaos emeralds. I understand. But that. the introduction of Supersonic definitely was quite nice. Yes. Although it was made much better in next game, but... We'll get to that when we get to that. But overall... Thumbs up. Of course. It's good. I said, it's the first, if you're going by order of Sonic games, if you're turned off by the first one, give this one a shot. You'll definitely have a better feeling of it, I feel. Because, like, yeah. Like I said, the reason I do what I do is because it just helps me appreciate the sequels just that much yeah. more. They fully refined the Sonic formula in 2. And in 3, it pretty much hits the closest to perfection it's been. Yeah, at least in the classic series, anyway. Yes. And then Mania... And then Sonic has like, is better! <laughs> And then Mania comes back and pretty much brings it back to the three and uh, three and Knuckles style. Exactly, but you can do CD and Sonic Two moves as well. So yeah, come back next time when we're gonna go after Sonic Three. You don't want to do two player versus mode? <laughs> all it is just going through stages, having you're Sonic versus speed Tails. Runs. You're basically doing speed runs. That's all it is. Actually, it's actually a little different. There are certain stats that go into effect. You're like battling for five stats. It's like rings total collected. Rings you have when you beat the level, first to the end of the level, items used, and, uh... Ah, oh, shit, I hit the last one. Either way, it's more than just a race, surprisingly. In Sonic 3, it's just a race. 
Well, either way, multiplayer mode doesn't really matter. Yeah, but really, if you're just doing the same stages from the main game anyway. Yeah, Sonic so. 3s are actually different from the main game. But. So, yeah, you're probably going to get the CD Eagles and the uh, Super Sonic in the end for all you know. And there's a Tails ending. It's pretty much just Tails being, being Eggman and then being caught by Sonic and Flame. Yeah. So, yeah. Even though Tails can fucking fly! Brick. Yeah. So, y'all want to bash me going the head. I ain't going to waste my time with these scrubs. Yeah, my level get good. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully we'll be on the level in Sonic 3. We have to. Yes. I'll but, help you as best I can. Yeah, so yeah, for Sonic, next time we come back to the Sonic Universe, we're going to be doing Sonic 3. For us, it's immediately. For you guys, who knows when it will be. Yep. Notice the, notice the questionable peak of the Sonic series. I think it's the best in the series. We I do, too. It's the best in the series. I do, as well, the classic yes. ones, anyway. But you'll see when we get there. Yep. So, see y'all in a bit. See ya.